The reason why you as the responsible person need to pay a higher rate is because that surplus that you're paying in that higher rate, which you can handle, you saved your money and manage and, and manage your finances appropriately. So you can take the hit. And we're gonna use that to subsidize them to get a lower interest rate. With that being said, we're moving on to the culture corner segment. And in today's uh instance of the culture corner, what is the government trying to do other than create a culture of underachieving, which dovetails quite nicely with our meme segment. And what we're talking about in this instance is Joe Biden and the uh, new rules passed by the Federal Housing Finance Agency, which is punishing first-time home buyers. Well, I don't even think it's first time. I think it's anybody getting a mortgage. Um, I heard it was first time, but they, why stop there? You know? Yeah. Why stop there? Yeah. Um, whether it's first time or whether it's, you know, any time you apply for a mortgage for a home, uh, the Biden regime in its infinite wisdom has decided that if you are the person who did everything the right way, if you somehow, if you somehow managed to get through your 12 plus years of public education where they didn't teach you a dick all about personal finance, making sure you keep your debt levels low so you can keep your credit score high so you can have enough cash on hand to put a sizable down payment on a home when it was time to buy. Do your you know, taxes. Right. You like, know, those basic bare minimum things that they didn't even bother to teach you in K through 12, but you somehow managed to still get it right. Well, the Biden regime now thinks that you should be punished for doing that. And what we're talking about is the Federal Housing Finance Agency's new rules that are now punishing you um, for home buyers that uh, have a credit score of 680 or higher. And I want to say that a perfect credit score is 800. I could be wrong on that, but I think a perfect credit score is 800. So 680 is up there. Like you are a pretty responsible um, manager of your own finances if you have over a 680. Um, if you have a credit score of 680 or higher, or you are able to put between 15 and 20% of a down payment down on your home, you are, you are now punished with higher interest rates for the ostensible purpose of subsidizing people who didn't follow those rules, people who have a much lower credit score and don't have the cash on hand to put down a sizable down payment. They get better rates than you do for not following the rules. You know what? I actually appreciate this for once. I really do. I do. I like the fact that you're coming out right up front and saying, hey, I'm going to f*** you really hard. <laughs> That's what your night is going to look like. Um, because usually they're like, oh, we're going to change the tax code. We got to make sure that these corporations pay their fair share. And shouldn't we tax the people that have the most? And, and again, we talk about this all the time in terms of the growth of the welfare state, right? What does the government love more than anything? It is a dependent citizenry. Because if the citizenry are dependent upon the government for their mere survival, then the government have, has as much power as it will ever need. Because the soon as you pipe up and say, hey, government, I don't think you should be doing X, Y, or Z, they just turn off the nozzle to whatever it is they're helping you with, whether it be the roof over your head, the food on your table, the job that you have, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's what they love is a dependent citizenry. So let's discourage anybody from doing everything the right way. And what's another thing we always talk about on this podcast is about incentives and that with human beings being rational actors, you need to align the incentives in such a way that in, that encourage human beings to make the correct decision, not only for themselves so that they can be self-sufficient and not dependent upon others to carry their weight for them, but also so that maybe they'll have a little bit of surplus to voluntarily help out those who can't help themselves, you know, when and if that situation arises. But the government wants to completely level the playing field uh, uh, and, and they'll, they'll say, this is for, like, again, they will stand up in front of a podium and defend this all day long and say, no, we're just trying to help those other home buyers who didn't follow the rules, who did not manage money properly, who didn't save for the down payment. We're trying to help them get in a home because 
The reason why you as the responsible person need to pay a higher rate is because that surplus that you're paying in that higher rate, which you can handle, you saved your money and manage and, and manage your finances appropriately. So you can take the hit. And we're going to use that to subsidize them to get a lower interest rate. Does any does do you people not remember? And I'm talking to the the geniuses that form this kind of stuff. Do you not remember 2008? Do you not remember the subprime loan crisis that that fed into that? The fact that when you give everybody a chance, no matter how irresponsible they are with money, then shocker, they might default as soon as things aren't aren't all sun, sunshine and roses. Dan, I think they do. That's they they want to create the situation again, again by misaligning the incentives. It seems like they want us to bear the burden, though. Of it course. It seems like they want us to make up. They want us to take the hit for the big banks that keep giving loans to people that can't. Because it's always our fault. Anyway. Of course. And if it's not our fault, they'll make sure the system is rigged in such a way there, to be our fault. I was sitting there thinking, like, if you're responsible, if you take care of yourself, if you do yada, 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 you should be able to buy that nice little nest egg home because that's what you worked for. It. And the place that you were referring to, those people that didn't take care of themselves financially, that maybe outbred themselves, had a couple of kids, can't support it, did some pretty, you know reckless things with their some future poor life choices correct let's call it that there's a place for those people and it's called a trailer park <laughs> you buy that because you can afford it and then you pay the follow me here dan follow me here you pay the rent each month what does that do it builds up equity in the house or the trailer park you pay a mortgage each month if you're saying they're going to own their trailer right. okay right, mortgage right, yeah. sorry semantics yeah mm -hmm. um Semantics are important, I understand. Uh, they pay the mortgage every month, but when they do that, what, is, what also happens? When they're paying their bills on time? They start to build <gasps> credit. Oh, what a weird fucking thing. <laughs> so they, they have to go back and say, hey, I made some mistakes. I have to start here. It's not where I want to be. Not where I wanted to start, but I can still Correct. end up in a better and place. And eventually I can work my way out of here by making the right choices now. What a weird concept, but no. Yeah. The government has a better idea. The government is going to get you strapped into a house that you can't possibly afford because you don't have the salary to justify it. And who's going to buy that back, by the way? That house that you can't pay for. Yeah. The bank's going to get it on the cheap. Oh. Yeah. And then they're going to come along and sell it to me at a, or David at a higher interest rate because we managed our finances a little bit better and saved a little bit more money. Than so you they, they, what they're they call winning that? either way. From the movie you quoted er earlier, uh, Double Bubble? Yeah. They want a little double bubble. Yeah. They want a double take. Ugh. Exactly. Excellent. And, you know, just chalk this up before we move on to the next segment. This is another entry into the age-old question, stupid or evil, right? Because think of the timing of the genius of this plan from the movers and shakers in the Biden regime that are responsible for it. After about 18 months of rapidly rising interest rates because they had to tamp down inflation that they caused right? Those rising interest rates from the Federal Reserve have made mortgage interest rates also go through the roof, which has tamped down, you know, thrown a, a damp cloth on the, on the housing market already, right? Buyers are discouraged from buying when interest rates are going through the roof. So they created a problem in inflation. The solution to that problem has created another problem in the housing market, and then right at the time that that's basically at its peak, when inflation finally starts to come back down, what do they do? They throw another, you know, damp cloth on the fire and say, now we're going to make it even harder for all of you that were responsible throughout this whole storm and weathered it that we created. We're going to make it even harder for you to buy You know buy what they used home. to call us? Essential. Yeah. <laughs> they used to call us essential. Right. And they, and, but don't forget, they used to call nurses heroes. Yeah. Until all of a sudden they didn't want to take a <clears throat> a thingy. And, a then, thing that, and then now they're all expensive. And then now they're all yeah. you know, terrible things. So like, are they stupid and at doing it right at this exact time? Or is it intentionally or is it intentional and evil in the sense that they all want to make us dependent upon them if we ever want to have a chance of getting out of the rat race or, you know, not even saying that buying a home would get you out of the rat race, but it's, it's, uh, you know, it's at least one step in the right direction. I've got a, I've got a question. That their timing is highly sum, suspect. Sums this one up and then moves us on to the next one. If 
this is the in crowd. If you want to be cool with your liberal, your democratic, whatever people, the in crowd is officially now these kinds of policies, purple haired people screaming at other people and shouting them down. And whoever doesn't agree with you is immediately villainized. And whoever critically thinks is cast out and torn asunder.